Welcome back to another episode of Watching Shoes. The watch today is the Citizen Minute Repeater, and the shoes are Sperry Boat Shoe with the gum bottoms. And just enjoy the colors that they put on there. That makes it makes it real flexible to go with a whole bunch of different uh, tops or clothes. Um, today we're just gonna check out these polo sport coats and suits going to be a quick review just going to go through um all of my polo uh suit jackets um dinner jackets or smoking jackets any kind of polo jacket and or polo suit um what i like about polo is detail this is my latest pickup um the details inside of these garments are really really worth second and third looks um, if you're into details and you're into fabrics, you're going to get a whole lot of that. Typically, when a suit or a sport coat catches my eye, it's because of that. Just like some really nice uh, details, uh, feasts for people who like textures and, and fabrics and things like that. So these always um, pretty much get me to open my wallet. Um, this one is belted, which is not an, a usual feature for men's suit in the U.S. Um, they have leather buttons, genuine leather buttons. Um, the suit itself has genuine leather buttons. The uh, sleeves, genuine leather buttons. They have an, um, my tailor uh, was out, so couldn't make those functional, but I plan to get those to be functional soon. Um, this is the Morehouse HBCU collaboration. This is another feature that I've not seen on any suit before, which I'm sure it exists. I just haven't seen it before. Really cool feature um, to allow you to close the um, collar and use this as a, you know, a really functional, keeping warm jacket. They still have that available if you want to put that attachment up there. But the idea to offer it on two different locations was news to me. I hadn't seen that done before. And this is the pants for the suit. Cool feature about the pants um, is this angled uh, buttonhole there, which gives you two options for those two buttons on which one to hook it onto, which I think is pretty cool. Um, they don't come like that. I had them cuffed. Uh, moving right along, this is just a uh, hound's tooth. Slightly lighter, less weighty material, softer even, and not too much going on here. You have a, a check pattern. I mean, you have a overlaying green pattern over the brown, which gives you some flexibility. If you go back to this one, you see orange overlay, a green overlay, um, lots of colors inside of this suit. And this one is predominantly tan and brown hound's tooth with a green overlay uh, pattern. Inside of that, I got another um, much differently styled um, jacket, and I think that's herringbone pattern, and slightly harder to see. There's another blue overlay. Check in a um, red and purple run along together in the horizontal so a lot of colors also in this one a lot harder to find a lot more subtle in that jacket i really like how these um billowing pockets are done really cool uh, details this one also has a closing system on the collar so you can close it pretty cool um feature um, giving some functionality outside of style to the jacket and then we have this uh, smoking jacket dinner jacket um, tux but really just a smoking jacket velvet and a lot of cool details going into the uh, sleeves and whatnot roping we have the um, Morehouse Athletic Department jacket. 
clearly I'm a fan of this uh, HBCU collaboration. This one is a cool one because of the uh, maroon burgundy color scheme. And then the inside is a liner. Very long, like a trench liner, buttoned all the way around. But as you can see, you can go without it. You can pull that out. But it's just very, very well done. There's a good look at the lining. Just very well done. And this fabric is almost akin to an African quality, which is extremely, you know, thousand, ten thousand year lasting fabrics in Africa. And this one is trying to emulate that. I'm, I'm pretty sure very, very heavyweight fabric. Uh, reinforcing the uh, pockets is pretty cool, especially when you think this is uh, an athletic theme. So it should be rugged. So we have double buttons. It's aligned in satin, uh, burgundy satin. Really cool on their part. Um, this is just a brown blazer. Not even a blazer, just a brown sports coat from Polo. Underneath that, I have a linen cotton. Looks like a linen cotton blend sport coat and then underneath that a full-blown suit of uh looks like linen full-blown linen suit from lauren two-piece not a three-piece with the pants to go with it and some of the design for the pants is on there also on this in, in, inner lining of the jacket moving right along of course there's plenty of details and i'm not gonna hold you up that long for the details um linen blazer no linen uh what do you call it double breasted lemon linen blazer um pretty self-explanatory just a linen i have been doing this with my buttons lately taking off the buttons and hiding diamonds underneath just a curterization of the jacket and a couple of these have been like that. I didn't go over them, but um, it's kind of like what I've been into lately. Like just hiding the buttons, but if you're like curious and you find some diamonds under there. <laughs> Underneath that, we have a real favorite jacket of mine. This really, really thick, heavy wool, full-blown wool, um, black watch pattern uh, polo sport coat. really a fan of this mainly because they used uh, such a heavy weight material to uh, construct that jacket so I think the polo did a really good job in that honestly from what I'm seeing the camera's not really showing the detail very well on this pattern or this jacket it's kind of like making it look grayish I don't know why but it doesn't it looks a lot more rich in real life than it's showing up on my camera. So I, but, um, this one is compliments galore. If you see this at Macy's or anywhere, go ahead and grab it because I couldn't go walking down the street in Atlanta without someone stopping me to let me know that jacket is off the chain. So a lot of compliments when I wore this jacket and it is, uh, I actually put those buttons on, give it a little more navel, uh, feel to it doesn't have oh it does have buttons here also but um yeah just a real cool fun jacket also by Ralph Lauren or Lauren Ralph Lauren really cool jacket this one is one that I just customized just a white summer jacket and I just put patches on it I really like patches so uh the second one on the interior is uh patched out Quite a few patches. Uh, pretty sure there's one on the sleeve somewhere. Oh, here's another one. Patch here. Just wanted to give a little bit more of a navel feel to it. As a matter of fact, didn't even think about it, but those are similar navel signs. The ankh well, uh, being tied down to a anchor. 
And this is an odd suit, but if a suit means the jacket matches the pants, then it is a suit. So this jacket is a, uh, man, it's hard to say favorite because you have so many favorites when you're dealing with polo because they have so many different styles galore. And um, and, they, and they're so different from one another, but this is a long favorite of mine. Um, did a review on this jacket. Don't hesitate to scroll down in the videos and check that out. Thanks for the likes and the subscriptions. And uh, on with this review. Just really heavyweight materials. Very soundly made jacket. Features galore. The material that it's made out of is just feels luxe. Feels like luxury. It's a jacket I rarely wear, even though I really, really like it because it's one of those type of situations. Uh, there's very few occasions that I find are worthy of this um, quality <laughs> that went into making this jacket. Um, but let's go. It also is a belted jacket, like the wooden one, one we started with. And then you have the pants to match, and the pants are equally as sophisticated. And uh, awesome detail in the uh, buttons sorry for the fingernails <laughs> but um long lasting materials this outfit is at least 10 years old and you can't tell with the uh, any kind of wear and tear on the uh, body or the construction but it's pockets galore zippers galore and a whole lot of uh, details and the material i can't say that enough it just feels like luxury some kind of a polyester nylon blend but it was done just right so it's a very heavy feel filling material and this is not a polo but i throw this in there because a uh, shout out to uh phil's fashion asked me to give it a, a video um this is a rain suit it's actually a rain jacket with matching pants designed to be a suit so you have a two button suit you have slanted excuse me slanted zippered um pockets and you have interior lining is waterproof everything's designed to keep water out this is by theory and you can see the seams are treated to keep water out you can see underneath uh, the breathability is a vent but it's also designed to keep water out by having a cover and the pants matching pants are the same material similar material not identical this one feels a little bit heavier but um uh, i believe it's identical it might just be interior padding or who knows what but yeah just uh Really, really cool theory suit, rain suit. And that does it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Watching Shoes. And this is just a polo jacket collection. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy your days.